These are some of Burundi's best dramas. They live in Gishora, home to the famous royal drums and a culture of drumming that dates back centuries. The ritual of the royal drums is now in the UNESCO heritage list. Oskan Shirimana is the lead drummer. He tells us this compound and the heart we are entering is significant. Burundi's ancient king Mwezi Gisabo came here seeking refuge when Belgian colonizers wanted to kill him at the turn of the 19th century. He later surrendered, but the drumming he loved stayed on to mark the bravery of those who helped him. When people heard he was here, they brought him a gift of two bulls. He slaughtered them for a feast and used the skin to make two royal drums, which exist to date in this sanctuary. This is a special hut where the most important drums are kept, including this two. We're told they're about 100 years old. Conserving the culture is important to everyone here. Every time the drums beat in Kishora, the whole neighborhood comes out. The sanctuary is one of the country's main tourist attractions and a source of livelihood for most people here. Esperance Habarogura says she wants her sons to learn the tradition. Women are not allowed to be drummers. Every Thursday after school, my son comes here to learn from the older drummers. Teaching the young generation will keep the culture alive. So twice every week, young boys come here for training sessions, learning the arts, affecting their moves. I started drumming when I was very little. My father and grandfather were drummers. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to beat the drums in other countries. Royal drumming is now only allowed in official functions. The government says this is to avoid commercializing the culture. The showstoppers in functions like this presidential event are often the children, Burundi's future dramas. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera. Gishara Burundi.